Prime Minister James Marape issued this warning following reports that some elements have been actively trying to infiltrate students across the country to stir up anti-government sentiment. The Prime Minister expressed concern that the nation is still recovering from the January 10 riots and looting which resulted in an estimated 2 billion kina in damages. He attributed these events to the actions of anti-government agitators. He called on all students and right-thinking Papua New Guineans not to fall prey to what he described as vultures lurking out there wanting to cause stress on the society. The Prime Minister said the opposition now has the opportunity to properly file a vote of no confidence and comply with all the Section 145 requirements rather than inciting students and the public. He explained that when Parliament resumes on Tuesday, September 3rd, 2024, the opposition must ensure that the form is properly filled out for the private business committee to peruse. Meantime, Minister for Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology, Kinoka Foe, in a statement earlier commended the students for their thoughtful and mature approach to do a protest in regards to issues affecting the country. He said by addressing such significant national issues with responsibility and intellect, they are demonstrating the true essence of leadership and academic excellence. Freddie Moe, TV1 News.